I got here is the drawer that I made for my kitchen tall cabinet and I'm calling this the simplest drawer construction possible because it is, in my opinion, the simplest way to make a drawer that will last for years and years and years. However, this drawer is not going to be used very often. But if you're in a situation where your drawer is getting yanked open constantly and, and suffering a lot of abuse, say in this, it's in a high use area and you don't want to go through the trouble of making dovetails or box joints or anything like that. And you want to use this type of drawer construction because it's very simple and virtually foolproof because all you need to do is measure and cut the parts and glue it together and fire a few nails and you're done. But there is a way to reinforce it and I'm going to show that in this video. The first thing I need to do to make this work is to make the spline that fits exactly in the sock curve. And then I'm going to cut the spline but I'm going to sneak up on the cut so that it fits perfectly in that thing. Not too loose and not too tight. And then when I have the spline cut, I can adjust the angle of my saw. In this case, I'm going to tip it to 10 degrees. And then I'm going to make a cut in the front panel of the drawer that doesn't go all the way through the plywood. And I've added a backer piece to the other end of the drawer so that I won't have any chip out as the blade comes through the end. With that first one cut, I can take the fence, put it on the other side of the blade like this so that I can make one that's opposite angle and put the backer block on this end this time. Of course it goes without saying that I'm avoiding the nails that I drove in here to put this drawer together in the first place. Okay, now that the slots are cut, as you can see, they're angled upwards on the end here. So they kind of look good and you could add more if you want. I'm not going to because I'm just doing this video to demonstrate this. I'm going to talk a little bit about the structure of this drawer and what really makes it strong. Okay, it's uh, glued and nailed from the top here with three nails, but also it's fully glued across this bottom panel down here. And that adds a lot of strength all the way through. And I've driven in nails, of course, as well. So I'm just going to use regular wood glue to glue these in. And I'm not even going to bother to let the glue dry before I plane them down flush with the front and cut them off on the end. 